December 11, 2021, nine-year-old Peter Jacon had a close call at the corner of 21st and Gell Streets Northeast in Kingman Park. It just happened so fast. A driver came around a turn without stopping, <laughs> hitting Peter in the process. I couldn't process emotion. Well, one month later, people who live nearby say nothing has changed. <laughs> Mayor X home camera captured at least 12 cars blowing through stop signs at the intersection in less than five hours Monday. We spotted several in person too. It's more as another car goes through the stop sign. Bob Coomber lives on Gales and says he's concerned for the safety of his family. It's the most dangerous thing for my kids. DDOT closed out a report saying that they're going to uh, improve markings and do something, but as you can see, nothing's been done. Right now, there's a truck illegally parked there, so people can't even see the stop sign coming down, and all they did was issue a couple tickets. Coombert wants speed bumps, a raised crosswalk, a substantive change, something more than just this sign. Well, Monday night, DDOT told us it has several work orders for when temperatures are sustained above 50 degrees. They'll install hatch pavement markings, flexible delineator posts, and some new signs. As for Coombert, he kept his request simple. DDOT's got to act. And we should note representatives from DDOT did come out here shortly after that nine-year-old Peter Jacon was hit. However, that was a pre-planned meeting. John Henry, WUSA 9.